oh, you are uh, very positive. Because as I told you, the youth are the most energetic. They are the most energetic. They have numerical strength they have. We have so many youth, over 10 million uh, youth. And so there's even a strategy by means of agriculture on youth engagement in agriculture, which we are implementing to ensure that young people are gainfully employed within the agricultural sector. We are trying to make young people understand that agriculture is a business. And you can say to go into agriculture as a business, a business of choice. People have got rich out of agriculture. And the YLP, Youth Livelihood Program, many young people decided to engage in bull fattening. Centered on the dialogue's theme of building youth resilience in food and nutrition post the COVID-19 pandemic, Mondo emphasizes that agriculture stands as the sole gateway to ensuring food security. He further emphasizes the significance of involving youth in initiatives designed to change mindset, which discourages them from having to buy motorcycles for border border services by selling off their land. Youth is selling land to go and buy border borders to come to the municipality of Kavali is not sustainable. And it doesn't make sense that you sell land, you buy a kipiki that can perish within a day or can be stolen. We need mindset change. And I'm happy that under PDM, one of the pillars is mindset change. We need to change the other people's way of thinking. Thinking they don't want to touch anything dirty. Yes, we are trying to make agriculture sexy by mechanization, but still, money does not smell where it has come from. Evelyn Namubiru, the head of programs at the Hang Project Uganda, highlights that Uganda holds a distressing ranking in the realm of hunger and food insecurity. She points out that this situation has been exhibited by prevailing poverty and significant portion of the youth population turning away from agriculture. So mostly uh, for the hunger and uh, security, I think for Uganda, we are really ranking highly in situations of uh, being one of the countries uh, hit by hunger and especially like uh, we have not yet tapped the potential we have to really eradicate uh, the, the hunger into the country. Nambiru further elaborates on their strategic approach, explaining that they are actively involving the youth in their initiatives. One of their strategies involves establishing an agriculture business institution. The institution aims to empower the youth by equipping them with knowledge and skills related to agriculture, enabling them to foster self-development through this sector get to understand more of what is happening out there, uh, especially with the successful uh, youth who are uh, in agriculture, what have they done for them to actually attain the positions where they are. Mm -hmm. So the youth are lacking that, and majority because they think uh, for agriculture is for adults, not for the youth. So we need to really link them to their peers so that they can also understand this is for them. In the midst of discussions surrounding agriculture, food security and nutrition during the dialogue, the youth were also exposed to various other topics. These include addressing challenges like teenage pregnancy, early marriages, and consequences of having unplanned children. This story was compiled by Ndiamhachi Nobat for Smart 24 TV Business Today.